the GC has to understand the business, be it the construction or be it the aviation or be it the real estate or be it gold. You have to know how does the company make money, who are the customers, who are the vendors, who are the shareholders, who are the lenders. Uh, it is extremely important to, to get into the business first of all. And also when you know a GC can negotiate the tightest of the agreement or can draft the most sort of the tied and the one-sided agreement, provided it just gets executed or agreed on the opposite side. So uh, I think a best agreement, if, if, if that's also a very important role for a GC, is the one which is fair, which is impartial, which takes care of both the sides, which is win, 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 which is not win, lose, lose, win. And I think that empathy is important. Otherwise, GCs are perceived or may be perceived as, as breaks who are uh, impediments in the business who only show red lights, who only show red flags, so rather than, you know, the ones who who give those green signals that how, you know, do not tell your management why this cannot be done, tell them how this can be done. Of course, within the four corners of law, within the four corners of ethics, within the four corners of compliance. So that's what I think the general council is all about. So with that, I thank my panel.